<sighs> Give this just a moment. Oh, God. These settings are AWOL. That's better. Okay, give me just a moment. I need to check and see if this actually still continues. Oh, hey, I guess we are where the wall rider is. All right. Um, let's see. Right mouse button. Okay. Let me just let Tumblr know that I switched games, so then we can continue. Give me a sec. Mm, let's see. Oh yeah, I should probably change it on um, Twitch too. Sorry, a little intermission for you guys. But I will try to make this as quick as possible. So give me just another moment. I hope I spelled that right for Wall Rider. Okay, just a little bit more time. And then we can do this. Uh, why don't you update? Okay, let's try this again. This is going to be nice and spooky. Because there's the Walt Rider somewhere.
What the hell was that? Oh my god! Freaking out over everything. Okay. I'll be okay. I think. Freaking get creeped up by just trying to barely open a door. Let's go up the ladder with our cut off fingers. Oh, great. A bridge section. Who are you? Got a battery. I guess we have to go down that way. Boy, didn't I already- I came in that way, what the frick? Hmm... This is really bugging me. Did I come in this way? No? Yes? This is what happens when you don't play a game for a year. You forget what you're doing and where you're going. Ew. Okay, I came in here, I went that way, I opened this door, um, I guess go this way. Isn't there something else to be found or something? Oh, hey, there we go. It's a jumping puzzle. Oh, nice. God, I'd be freaking out. Um, I can't wall run. Are you kidding me? Well, I guess I have to go down here. Hello, buddy. Are you okay? You don't look okay. Does this open? Nope, it's locked. And I don't have a gun. All right, something's gonna happen.
Nope. Nothing there. So, we're just nicely walking through this rainy weather on a pleasant evening. Oh, is that blood? Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Exploration time. Hey. Well, there's a guard. Or there was a guard. Do you have any batteries or anything? Nope, just legs. Oh, hey! Could swear I see something else. Just water bottles, okay. Uh, dead end? No. Yes. Maybe so. Um, I am not sure what I'm doing. Where do I go? Where do I freaking go? <laughs> hmm. This may take a moment. Oh, wait a sec. I am supposed to go through here. Oh, boy. Oh, no. 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 Uh-uh. Okay, where is he? Where is he? Oh, jeez. Let me up. Let me up. Oh, no. Ooh, I was already here. Damn it. Wasting freaking batteries. This thing move. Let's try this again. Because I have no idea where I'm going. Oh, damn. That was dumb. Nothing here. Nothing at all. Are there any batteries up here? Next to this dead god. I guess go this way. No, that's a dead end. That is also a dead end. I have no idea what I'm doing. What the heck am I doing? Holy moly! Uh, what, you can't see me? Wow. I can be on top of a dumpster and he won't see me. Allow me to take a moment to take a swig.
Eh. Let me out. Ah, uh, crap. Um, new objective. Find Father Martin inside the female ward. Yeah. Let's see what we can do about that. Ooh. A blood fountain. Isn't that nice? Notes. Don't drink the water. So much blood in the water I can smell it. Like, a, like putting a penny in your mouth when you were a kid. The whispers are making more sense. I am looking for static. It's like an itch. How dramatic. How poetic. How... Thes... Wait a second. Thespianistic. Where do I go? To proceed further into the game. Cause I am ready to do some running for exercise. Hui hui hui. Something here? Nope, decapitation. Stones, innards. Dead bodies. <coughs> Gas. Oh hey, there we go. And up, and up, and up we go. Ooh, spookalicious. You saw the wall rider, didn't you? You're beginning to understand, but not yet. Even Abraham had to cast his eyes to the ground. But soon, yeah. soon, this way, revelation is at hand. Uh huh. Use the upper floors. Uh, upper floors to reach Father Martin. Got it. There's nothing there. WTF, mate. I'm trying to explore here, man. Oh, great. Yeah, I'm gonna avoid that little area for the moment. Yeah, you run so fast and so quietly. Is that really all I can do? <laughs> yep, gotta go this way. Oh boy. Let's reload a battery. 
What's in here? That probably can't be too good. The sound in the machine. The sound in the machine. Like the sound in my head when the wall rider appeared. I blink and I see static. Something else. Something oily and dark descending behind my eyelids. Watching me with organs I can't imagine. But the sound is coming from the machine too. From inside the walls. I know that sound. So dramatic. Hey, is that something I can pick up? No. Anything in here? Yes. No. Whoops. Appears my flux is turned on. Flux is what I use to dim down the blue light of my monitors. All right, let's play again. Who am I going to run from this time? We shall see. Well, counter music, that means I have to run. Hello. Come on, let me through. Sorry, I was mesmerized by that weird stuff. Since he went that way, I'll go this way. Whoa! Okay, plenty of area to explore. What's new in the documents? Wall Rider and Nightmares. Brief introduction to Wall Rider mythology for MRD support staff. The Murkoff Corp. Note, this is for support slash notational purposes only. Engage in no direct contact with patients during or after therapy. The Wall Rider, also known as an Alp, Mara, or Shrat, is a demonic creature of German origin that torments sleepers. They crouch. Okay, that guess that's what it says. They crouch on a sleeper's chest and crush the breath from him. The sleeper wakes terrified, paralyzed, and asphyxiating. The name Mara gives us the word nightmare or Mara. I guess Mara. The name Mara. Gives us the word nightmare. Sexual assaults by the demon are rare, but it has been known to drink milk from the breasts of a sleeping woman and blood from the nipples of sleeping men. Ew. I thought it was Mara at first, considering I have a lovely love named Mara. He's a cutie. Also, if you're seeing this, Mara, hello, you're cute. Oh, I guess that takes that path. Which means we have to explore. This is getting tense. 
It's like the lack of enemies, they're making me more tense than anything else. Yeah, buddy. Can I help you? What is that noise? Anything in here? Nope. Anything in here? Nope. Disorientating myself. Is this the front entrance? So it is. Eh. Excuse me. Well, at least I went with the physics of not stepping into a body like they weren't there. Hmm, downstairs. What does this mean? I want to find out secrets. What's new in the documents? Project Paperclip excerpt. Project Paperclip, Joint Intelligence Objectives Agency. Document number 8 of 186. Yeah, I'll, good luck finding those. Location 230-86-46-5. Excerpt. Ref. Nazi War Crimes Disclosure Act. A. The first paperclip provides a means of obtaining services. And I'm mixing up accents. Of foreign specialists for specific assignments within the technical services of the departments of Army, Navy, and Air Force. B. Project 63 is primarily a denial program with utilization as a desirable feature. The aim of this program is to secure employment in the United States of certain preeminent German and Austrian specialists thus denying their services to potential enemies. Yeah. I'm not that cute, excuse you, Skippy. All right. Any butteries? Any butteries? Need to find a buttery. A buttery. Ah, I'm running through these freaking batteries like water. This freaking camcorder sucks. It's like from the 90s. It just goes through batteries like nothing. <laughs> yeah, the heartbeat. I get it. It's so tense. Can I make it? Oh, yeah, way to put your uh, camera away somehow while flying through the air. You have friggin' three hands. Oh. I can barely even see that door. Okay. Oh dear. What happened here? Is it running time yet? Oh, 
Oh, great. Open-ended. I have no idea which way to go, but I'll try anything. Driving the nails. Oh, how funny. We were just messing with hammers. Yep. Crucifixion. A fuse for the laundry chute. Is it encounter time? Oh, it is! Come on there, inmate. I'm losing my patience. Well, that was easy. Now for something hard. Giggity. Oh, it's still there. Let's just hide under the bed while I take a drink. Uh, stretch. Uh. Oh boy. Is he still there? Oh, so tense. Let me try this way. Oh, dead end. No pun intended. Oh, shit. Okay, I'm not sure which way I'm going. Going somewhere, though. Yeah, nice and loud. Anything here? Pray for revelation. Okay, what was that? Invite the wall rider. Oh, great. Invite the wall rider. Am I free? Oh, hello.
Come on, get out of the room. Get out of the room. Hey, batteries. Holy moly 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 Run in circles Pray for revelation, got it I can just run endlessly because this guy is a dummy. Are we rid of that guy? Sure hope so. Good times, good times. Sure I missed something. I hate that guy. Yay, broken down door. Where'd he go? Press the left mouse button to pick up the fuse for the laundry chute. Oh, oh, Ow! Joik! You genomist dick! <laughs> Let's run this way. Making me waste all my batteries. God dang it. <sighs> yeah, fun times.
stairs are that way, but how do I get to them? Yeah, nice and cozy fireplace. I really wish you could hear his footsteps a lot easier. Hmm. Ah, no, 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 no. Oh, you mother fricker. Where's that freaking flashlight? F, god dang it. Hello! Out of my way! This door needs a key, right. Wait, is that a battery? Yeah, grand old time when you don't know where you're going. Hmm. Is there anything to access inventory? Nope, just two fuses for the laundry chute, apparently. I have no idea which way to go. Is there any way to get over here? No. Time to backtrack. Did I come through this way? Probably. Okay, this was a separate room. Person in the corner. What is that? Water bottle. Okay. Hmm. I hate being lost. I need a little bit of help, I think. No, that ain't it. I hate being stuck. 
I hate it, hate it, hate it. Oh, hey, it's a cross. Wish you didn't waste the frickin' battery. You know what? I gotta go back. Have a nice dinner there, Morse. Are you kidding me? Oh great, now I have to find a third one. Oh nice. So actually I was in the right area, but now I don't know where the third freaking fuse is. You know what? I'm gonna cheat a little bit. I need to look up where to find the uh, last fuse. All right. Okay, give me a sec. Uh, did I get that one? Sorry, I'm looking at a page and I'm just trying to find where all these are. Okay, I'm gonna try this again. Where is that third fuse? Dang it. Give me a sec, I'm still researching. Hmm, dang it.
Okay, I'm gonna try and look. Yeah. Good luck finding me. Wasting all my batteries. This isn't helping. Oh, great. You know what? I'm gonna run around you because I am done giving a damn. There's the last fuse. Screw you, buddy. Let's just go over to this area again. Freaking found the last fuse. Oh, yeah. Okay. Let's try this again. Yeah, let's just hide again and hope we'll be okay. So, you guys are kind of enjoying this whole thing of running and hiding, right? <laughs> I mean, I'm just doing great here. I mean, I'm just running around this guy. I'm... This game isn't as scary as it used to be, but it'll still catch me off guard. The only thing that's annoying are the patients who try to get you. So yes, that's quite orderly to be dealing with these kind of guys. Gotta go quietly. Excuse you, Skippy. Oh, damn. 
Gotta go down. Londre. Oh, here we go. Poor guard. Emancipated. How much you want to bet there's going to be an encounter? Yep, there it is. Oh, crap, wrong way. Got out of my way, jerk. Oh, come on. Oh, right, Iratus, thank you for donating $20. Doctor, you can do me a favor. I know you'd not want to repeat a rose, but my father passed sometime Wednesday between 4 and 3 and 4 a.m. Hold on, that's an important message. I need to go look and see what it said. Hold on. Give me a second. Doctor, can you do me a favor? I know you'd not want a repeat of Rose, but my father passed sometime Wednesday between 3 and 4 a.m. Can you visit him and hold his hand for me? Pass all our love and well wishes. Thank you. If um, I do, if this is serious and not roleplay, I do apologize for your loss, and the doctor will be sure to hold his hand and wish him well. Oh... Sorry, this seems like roleplay, and I don't want to make it seem like... Is this serious or not? Because this is kind of concerning for me. I'll make sure the doctor holds his hand and wishes him well and all the best, but... If your father did pass away, I am sorry, and I wish him, of course, all the best and all the love. Okay, thank you. I, again, I, I'm sorry I'm not the best at this, but I wish your family all the best. Thank you so much for the donation, by the way. <laughs> Ow. I'll make sure that he goes peacefully and happily. It's my job as a doctor. That's no problem whatsoever. I completely understand. Yeah, gotta explore now. Oh no! You gotta be kidding me! Uh, 
Okay, let's just explore and try and remain mostly safe. I guess I have to climb the bed tower. Somehow. What am I do? Ooh. This is really grilling my cheese. Oh great, I'm walking right through a pipe. Ah! I'm like right here. Oh really, it had to be that particular side? Hey. Uh, can I go through this door? What's over here? Toilets! Finally getting more batteries after I wasted so many. Thank you, Iratus. Or Iritus, I'm not sure how to pronounce it. So my apologies in advance. Make me want to do a doctor play. In fact, I did this with the doctor, but right now I'm on camera so I can get some reactions. Okay, what's this document? You promised me a rose garden. Excerpt from the diary of Shirley Pierce, Mount Mass excuse me, Mount Massive Mental Hospital patient, 1952 to 1964. How can I not remember where the cuts are coming from? They hurt so deeply, even days later. Doctor Newhouse tells me that it's my fault. I'm subconsciously resisting the hyp hypnotherapy, but I want to so much. Get to I want so much to get better. I don't know how I could be doing this to myself. Dr. Newhouse says it's another condition of my bedroom-inspired hysteria. Poor Bruce, I make him suffer so. I've tried subtly to ask Mrs. Jackson if she'd had a similar if she's had if she's had similar issues with her husband. But she is loath to talk about it. Okay, the English is kinda bad. Her husband, too, has found comfort in a younger woman. I know the doctors only mean well. And with the help of the government men who've joined the staff, I am in the I am in the very best hands possible. I should just take my pills and sleep and hope for more pleasant dreams tonight. Eritus. Eritus, I guess. I'm going based on what you're telling me. Is there an encounter yet? Nope. Okay. Did I come through this way? Yeah, I did. Got disorientated because of this room. I'll go there in a moment. Whoa! Okay! Going the other way. Or not. What did he come from? Where did he come from?
Okay. I'm a little lost, but hopefully not too bad. Alright, what's in here? Lie. Oh man, that's nice and bloody. I wonder if it was Father Martin who did that. So much blood. Lies. I recognize the handwriting. Father Martin killed a man here. Are the lies he's talking about all the files missing from these boxes? The facts? The records? They look like government agency material. At least 30 years old, probably older. I start thinking MK Ultra, CIA, mind control. The buzzing won't stop. Hmm. Hmm, 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 hmm. Um, was it this way? Yes, it was. Oh, good goodness gracious. Holy moly. Go quietly. Leading them out. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. They're actually smart. Let's just hope they go away nicely. We'll be doing okay. Oh my goodness, Iritus, thank you for donating $60. Since you don't have a sub button and Patreon is scammers, here's a year's worth of sub dosh. Hold on, and now I gotta read that again. Since you don't have a sub button and Patreon is scammers, here's a year's worth of sub dosh. Keep up the good work and thanks for your kindness. Thank you oh so much for the, the help, and I know I don't have subscriptions available yet, but. Thank you so much for that. I really appreciate it. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. I can't thank you enough. Okay, I think I am in the clear. Kinda. You guys are blind. Okay. I'll be doing okay once I can get through this area without dying. Go the other way. Alrighty. Oh, great. Platforming time. No! Oh, 
Oh, well, at least there's a way to get back up. You know what? I'm going to look and see if there are any batteries down here. Are you telling me I move faster by jumping? Let's go up and have some fun. Yay! Nailed it! What? Careful. 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 Carefully moving left to the left. Moving on. Let me read that little message real quick. A few friends use Patreon and they get jack out of what I used to contribute. As so I've swapped to just straight donations for Mitzi's and Frist and such. Haven't been able to send anything for Baldumber Rat's main thing because I don't have it. But yeah, they saw so little actual revenue so I switched. Well that makes sense. Whatever works and whatever you feel like you can trust. And hopefully whatever you trust is good. I mean, direct donations, you can, I can trust that. I trust you. No, 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 my camera! Don't go down the- Oh! Climb, mother trucker, climb! Great. Need your camcorder to navigate the darkness. Really? You don't say. Dang it. Dang it, dang it, dang it, dang it, dang it. God dang it, Bobby. God dang it. God dang. The boy I'm right, I tell you what. Great. Just freaking great. I got to go back and find my freaking... Find my freaking camcorder. Uh, force me to backtrack. Son of a gun. Well, isn't this nice? No, oh, great showers. Fancy, fancy showers. Guaranteed to make you feel nice and clean. Document? Nope. Let me smash. I just randomly thought, let me smash. Right when I said no. Because all I remember is that no. <laughs> oh no! I've been betrayed! Ooh. Spookalicious. Holy moly! Navigate quietly. Watch out for the Dasani water bottles. Okay, nice and tense. Nice and tense. 
Super intense. Oh, great. Mystery dark room. How pleasant for it to be right there. Oh god. Well, time to get running on upstairs and trying to get away. This refracted lens is gonna be the death of me. Great, I'm lost again. Okay, I'll do okay. I just gotta find the way out. Nope, wrong way. Dang it, I went the wrong way again. Scoo delicious. Damn it. Damn it, damn it, damn it. Oh, convenient. Okay, let's try and make sure we actually go the right way this time. Came through here. Went through there. Okay, made it. Nailed it. Booyé. Wait a second. Wait a second. Are you kidding me? This thing's in the way. That little... Oh, wait, never mind. I was going the wrong way. I don't have this place quite memorized yet, so it's kind of a bit of guesswork. Alright, let's go through the darkness. Find Father Martin in the administration. Okay, we doing good. Oh god. Anything here? Hello, Mr. Patient. Only one way out. Only one way. Thank you. How do you know you're not a patient? <laughs> Thanks. Okay, we're getting to a nice, safe-ish area. I mean, the only thing that Father Martin can do, really, is try to preach his religion on me. You know that static is making me think wall riders around? Oh! It's 
Slammerific. Anything here? Anything here? I need to see if there's anything here. Nope. Oh no. Whoa! You can't get me! You can't get me! You can't get me! Whoa! Holy moly! Holy moly! Static, the static man. Oh, wait, I'm out of battery. Whoops. Well, let's get the document. Billy's dreams. From K. Vigilando at MurkoffCorp.us.com to C. Eisner at MurkoffCorp.us.com. Subject, Patient William Hope. Hey, Cindy. Another interesting conversation with Billy this morning. He says he's been talking to Dr. Wernicke again for his therapy in the white place. I am disturbed by the fact that his delusions have only gotten worse with medication, which isn't in the literature for benzodiazepine. Benzodiazepine, or something. In any case, his dead doctor friend is fill filling his head with more German folklore. Apparently the only thing that can kill the wall rider are vampiric butterflies vomited from a demon called oh, Horacy. The butterflies suck the breath from people's lips and drink blood from their nipples. They can also take the form of emaciated upright pigs or sick dogs. So Billy's got that going for him. You'd mentioned Billy talking about his mother's tattoos before. Are any of them by the chance tattoos of butterflies? Next time I get outside to the Murkoff firewall, I'm going to look online and see if there's any actual basis in German folklore, or if Billy's making this garbage up from whole cloth. Would love to compare notes sometime, wouldn't mind doing it over a glass of wine, winky face. Gets lonely up here on two. Kurt. Actually, I'm going to test and see if that door opens. Nope. Just had to be sure. Any batteries? Nope. Okay. We are doing pretty good, I think. We've survived multiple assaults. And we died once, but... We're doing okay for continuing out last after, like, what, almost a year? How much longer until I fall through? Sorry, gotta move your body. As gross as that was. Hey, I'm back towards the beginning, kind of. Or at least it feels like the beginning. Library. Oh. Hold on. That sounds not too good. Let's get the document read before we die again. The Spirit Breach. Translated from German. Berlin, September 6, 1938. Reichsleiter Lonher and Dr. Med Roche. Roge. 
I have pressing news concerning the opening work of Dr. Rudolf Wernicke in his development of the morphogenic engine, expanding on series developed in his brief but unfortunate relationship with A. Turing. If I had not witnessed it myself, I would not believe it had happened. But beyond even the promise in cellular regeneration and guided cancer... cancer regeneration, I believe Wernicke's message has breached the spiritual realm. Something crossed from the other side. I personally witnessed the appearance of an apparition. Briefly, but undeniably so. Please forward my note and the invitation to witness further experiments to Dietrich Eckhart. I'm getting so much spit on my screen from speaking in a German accent. That is cracking his voice. I do not doubt that the Führer himself may need, need be made aware of our discoveries. It is my opinion that Dr. Wernicke's successes repre represent an enormous opportunity for our case, for our cause, and the German people, and are obviously sufficient reasons to keep him out of any sort of calling program. Regards to your family. Signature ineligible. Uh, sorry, I illegible. <laughs> Wrong word. I expect a banging on the door. Are there any batteries on these shelves? Nope. Well, I guess I gotta go. The chapel. Retrieve the key from Recreation Hall. Yes, coming! I'm coming! Floor two. Oh boy. Well, let's explore this floor before we go on any other floors. Nope. No good. Is this static from the raw wall wall rider? When shall I know? My German accent is horrible. <laughs> I just go based on the stereotype. Careful, 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 careful. You know what? I got a feeling that... This might be a one-way only, so I'm going to check the stairs. Oh, wait. What am I doing? What the heck am I doing? Ah, there we go. Let me just look downstairs real quick. Oh, well, I guess that solves that problem. Invisible walls are excused by locked doors. Okay. So, one way only. Careful. Careful, 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 slowly moving to the side, down to here, over there, here, oh my, can't see what these cracks on my camera lens. Oh, you were playing so nicely. Are you blind? No. Looked at me. I 
Yeah, batteries, nope. That static is always going to make me think of the wall rider. Well, no way back. Morphogenic engine activation. Recorded December 27th, 1985 in Los Alamos, New Mexico. Clearance Sierra Alpha. Subject, Dr. Rudolf Wernicke, 14866. They said Wernicke. The films are real. Uh, there was no alteration to the footage at all? No trickery? None. In June of 1943, you recorded three instances of spontaneous bleeding. Uh, a half a dozen test subjects began to develop brain tumors. Yes. The autopsies revealed that the tumors were... Well, I guess I was close you enough. Them? Can you explain why the results could not be reproduced in the United States? I have my theories. My homeland in those years. It's impossible to understand. The things we felt, what we believed, the overwhelming fear, ecstatic rage, and Yay. English births are insufficient. More than hope. The human mind in that environment is capable of extraordinary things. You're saying the experiment needed a proximity to death, to overwhelming madness. The notes. The Wernicke exit interview. The man sounds like Dr. Strangelove's anemic brother. It's a 25-year-old audio recording an interview with this Dr. Wernicke. Los Alamos means government work. Wernicke talks about spontaneous bleeding, tumors, psychosomatic reactions, and sufficiently disturbed people. Seems to walk a line between science and Nazi mysticism. Only a test subject who had witnessed enough horror has was capable of activating the engine. The morphogenic engine. The engine, the movie they're projecting, it gets in my head like a song you can't stop humming. I blink and I see Ro and see Rorschach tests that look like swarming insects and infected surgery wounds. The patients talk about using the engine to conjure the wall rider. It's the buzzing I hear in my bones. So many dead. They contacted something supernatural. Nothing is supernatural. Then what was it? You said Project Wallrider was a gateway. A gateway to what? Nothing? No response? Oh great, follow the blood. Where is this Wernicke? I'll go up there in a second. Another document! Necrotizing fasciitis. From D. Burton at MurkoffCorp.us.com to G. Willard at MurkoffCorp.us.com Subject, reply, FLESH-EATING BACTERIA?! Wash those hands regularly, winky face. Jeez, it sounds like freaking Aaron's in here now. Aaron from Undertale. On September 19, 2013 at 4.19 a.m. Grant, uh, G. Willard, blah, 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 uh, wrote necrotizing fasciitis. Really? I fucking quit. <laughs> okay, I guess that's a short quit message. Shall we accept your resignation? Yep, closed doors. All right. Thankfully, those big brutes can't crawl under here.
Behind the light. In the theater. Where'd he go? Well, that closed up that route. Finally, another battery. Can I not go over there? Okay, let's go this way. Gotta go all the way across. You and your third hand, I swear to God. It's like the spy all over again from TF2. Okay. Now we may proceed on to the third floor. How grand is this? I mean, we are seeing nothing but fine adventure here. A fine adventure indeed. Woo, too bright. Come on, let me out. She. Oh, geez, you're naked. Quietly, careful, careful, carefully, carefully. Anything in here? Hello? Hello? Phone call? Hello? Phone call? Aren't you brutish? Yeah, I'll be safe. All I gotta do is close the door and hope they don't know how to open doors. Ooh. You mother trucker. You mother truckin' bucker. You mother fluckin' suckin' ducker. You butt bustin' mother trucker. Well, I guess we take the elevator. Oh, of course. What does that say? Morin. I have a friend named Morin. At least that's his online name. He's Morin Wolf. Hey, Morin. Ah, the kitchen. Full of cutlery that's all been stolen by the patients. Ominous church music. Yeah, thankfully a prompt shows up when the door is openable, which is kind of exploitable. Let's 
go in here first. Hello? Anyone home? The static. They're praying to the static. The static is becoming more prominent everywhere. Static prayer. The static again. A patient knelt in prayer. Maybe he bought Father Martin's line of bullshit. Maybe he hears what I hear, but more clearly. Maybe it's his way of getting out of this place. The priest called it the Gospel of Sand. Grand old time ahead, eh? I just try and use Mother Trucker because it's a replacement swear. But, sir, if you are so offended, put it in the offense box. Because I take offense. Sometimes. It's all a matter of defense when you're talking about the fence. That's why it's called defense. That makes no sense whatsoever. I just totally rambled that off, didn't I? Hello? Knock knock. No knocking. Avoid contamination. Wash your hands. So much prayer. Oh, I can open these doors. I guess I can open these doors and make it seem a bit more ominous than it actually is. Any batteries? Ah! Damn! Oh hey! Document! What does this one say? The Gospel of Judas. I am an un I'm an unworthy supplicant who can serve our Lord only by feeding our Lord. Please take me, Wall Rider. Let my shepherd's apostle see it and spread it with its with his lies for a greater truth. Your time upon this world has come. My flesh longs for your beautiful wraith. My blood is filled with you and waiting to be set free. This is my prayer. Write your gospel in my flesh. Mmm, delicious. Turn the page, wash your hands, turn the page, wash your hands. Hey, battery. Okay, not that room. There it is. Oh, that messes with your heights. Oh, I guess I do have to go that way. Uh, I can't go that way. Ring the bell of the sanctuary in the chapel. Alrighty. God hates sickness. Woo. God hates money. God always provides a way. Couple of nude dudes. Oh, this is glorious. My Job. You alone shall escape the Talva. This is your penultimate act of witness. 
The promise of the prophets was always freedom from death. And, and here it is. You will watch and record my death, my resurrection. And together we will be free. Oh boy. We'll be free. You are no longer in any danger. I fixed the elevator. It will take you to freedom. We will all of us be free. Now, my son. I guess they're pretty realistic for once, for a fire death. Let's check out the notes. The Passion of Father Martin. Really? The Passion of the Christ with the Passion of Father Martin? Oh my god. I can't be- It is a reference! I can't believe Father Martin won after Jesus Christ himself in shitty ways to die, and I don't believe I'm going to miss him. A way out. If he's telling the truth, now I've got a way out. And a story to tell. He wants me to spread his gospel. I'll tell the whole fucking world. Yeah. Are you going to let me out, or not? Alright. They clean the street, something, something, something. To the guy, yep, he disappeared. Let's go up. Is this really the end of the game? I don't think it is because the wall rider's still around somewhere. This can't be the way out, it's too soon. Holy moly. I'm a little bit lost, so that's great. Oh boy. go oh no wrong way I'm dead well that was fun Friggin' two-hit kill. Oh. That's fantastic.
I have no idea where I'm going. I totally forgot where the elevator is. Oh, man. Wrong way. Wrong way. Damn, 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 damn. Oh. Let's go up there. Come on. Here we go. I'm gonna go fight the wall rider, I bet. Yep. By a way out, did you mean a death? Great, secret facility underneath the asylum. Find another way out. What the? Oh, thought it was ice. Hmm, that's a fancy symbol. Oh, great. I was right. Wall Rider. Under the mountain. Fuck, 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 fuck. Whoever finds my corpse, trust no one and tell everyone I am not crazy. I know, I know. Only crazy people say that. But I am as sane as this world allows with a camera full of evidence. Don't call it a gospel. Call it a mockery of reason. Let the world know it was. it is Murkoff's fault. Bury these bastards with my mutilated dead body. Someone's a little bit ultimate. Ew. Nice, pleasant gore. What's this document? The Pride of Wisdom. From the personal records of Dr. Wernicke. Frankenstein, or the modern Prometheus by Mary Shelley, published anonymous, anonymously in 1818, chapter 23 excerpt. Man, I cried, how ignorant art thou in thy pride of wisdom. Cease, you know not what it is you say. I broke from the house angry and disturbed, and retired to meditate on some other mode of action. Okay. Good times ahead. Good times. So, how long until the lights turn out? Or turn off? Morphogenic engine chambers. Oh boy. What the? I just walked through the door, literally. Does Twitch even allow this? I mean, like, damn, look at all that stuff. Coffee. What a pleasant mug. Uh, oh, that was just the door. Oh, nice. Body parts. And this document says... Variant Postmortem. Project Wallrider. Postmortem Preparatory Report MM1300-921. Form note. All material herein to be transcribed and revised to fit legally binding requirements of Murkoff Corp. records. See Form 4083. 
Author, Jennifer Rowland. Notes. My 14th autopsy of a Wallrider patient, showing no more signs of acceptance the therapy than any of the others. There have been slight gains in cell migration and morphogenesis, including effects similar to human growth hormone, but nothing to suggest the stable creation of a sentient independent swarm. So tired, doubting my judgment. We'll submit another request for leave. The psychological cost of using such far-gone and further provoked patients is more than I feel I can handle. May suggest hanging less hope on the far-flung theories of a senile Nazi, and move towards using a simpler mechanical engine based on a major sperm protein. Ah, uh, boy. Oh, boy. We'll definitely suggest harsher chemical restraints. Murkoff security killed patient 9 to 1 after he overcame enough tranquilizers to put down a hockey team. I'm afraid the hormone therapy is interacting with our chemical restraints in a counterproductive manner. Oh boy, Nazi experiments. Delivery exit. Yeah. We be running. That can't be daylight, can it? Okay, hold on. I won't go in there yet. Um, anything in here? I guess that's the way to go. So part of me while I backtrack just a little bit. Oh wait, did I pass it? I passed it. I don't get why they don't allow Yandere Simulator. Morphogenic Engine. What is this note? Morphogenic Formula. This is the Morphogenic Engine, a few lines of mathematics and algorithm. Reprogram us, turn us into nightmare factories. A few numbers on a dry erase board. Give me a hacksaw in a few hours alone with Dr. Wernicke's corpse. I feel I owe him a debt. Is Dr. Wernicke Zivolvida? Zivolvida. Vol. La la la. LOL. We're gonna have a grand old time. Well, I guess this is the part where there are no lights whatsoever. Oh, hello. Okay, I guess the wall already doesn't kill me. Oh no! No Oh boy. Delicious. The wall rider saved me. Death of the soldier. This is the way you die, ripped to pieces from the inside, watching your marrow scatter on a concrete wall. You've escaped one hell, Chris Walker. God help me, but I somehow hope you didn't find another. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Try to explain. Oh crap. I know, I, I know. I am supposed to be dead. No, no such luck. I am older than sin, but somehow the only one left because of Billy. 
Yep, that's you nice experiments. Yeah, that vent there is such a good thing. Oh, I don't get a gun still. Seriously, they allow this, but they don't allow Yandere Simulator. I mean, it's even less violent than this. What the crap? Seriously, this is like... This is extreme violence. How is this allowed? Eh, <sighs> whatever. Oh, crap. Well, I guess we start somewhere. Anything in here? Nope. Anything in here? Nope. Anything in here? Nope. Anything here? Nope. Anything? Nope. Anything? Nope. Just a dead guy. What's in here? Another bathroom. Another frickin' bathroom. Well, someone got the runs. Morphogenic engine that way. Okay, I'll wait. I would say I'd be cutting off the stream here since it's been about three hours, but if we're this close to the end, I'll give the ending a shot. So, bonus stream time.
Hey! Nope, that won't do any good. Damn. Well, I died. Well, time to run from the wall rider. Morphogenic engine chamber. Escape the wall rider. She I. No. Document. Okay, what's this document say? Gods and monsters. Note to all personnel from consultant MM008, Rudolf Wernicke. Oh, that's his first name. Do not worship the swarm, nor allow the delusions of the patients to influence your beliefs. Any sentient being based in this technology will be so far superior to us that illusions of godliness will be reasonable. We have always looked into chaos and called it God. We now are blessed with sufficient power that such belief could destroy us. Do not be tempted. Remember that you are scientists. Oh, joy. Big room with a big pod. The notes say, Wernicke's machine, the assembler, the feed chambers, the precursor molecules, vague memories of nanotechnology articles I've read online, probably drunk, probably, probably distracted, not nearly enough to know how to destroy it, but Billy is the center of it. Find him, kill him, end this. Mm -mm. Rudolf. Turn off the valve for life support fluid reservoir. Oh, bloody. Oh, someone's watching. Okay, before I go there, give me just a sec. Okay, what's this note? Billy's Hope. From Billy's patient reports, he ought to be 23 years old. He looks like at least 50 years of rough road, pain stretched deep into what I can see. Killing you would be an act of kindness. Jeez. They really got him wired. Well, I guess I'll have to go there afterwards. Any documents? No. Let's get running over here and finish this game. 
And I'll look at that note real quick. Life support. This is Billy's, Billy Hope's lungs, his liver, his life support. A machine the size of a football stadium to keep one lunatic alive. Fuck it all. Break it all. He has to die. Aren't you a kind mother trucker? Okay, I'm pretty sure this is going to initiate a chase sequence. Cut off electric supply from the sublab generator. Good thing I have infinite sprint. This is intense. Yay for being a normal mode. We can make it. We can make it. This is very intense music. Like, oh my god. This is so extreme. It's like, OMG. There's something coming after me. Is there? Isn't there? Is there or isn't there? Like, OMG. Why are there so many stairs? Oh! Why are there so many stairs? Disable his failsafe. This can't be this easy. Ow. Okay, what do I do? What do I do? What do I do? What do I do? Let's kindly just read this document real quick while we have everything paused. Morphogenic engine chamber precautions. Murkoff psychiatric systems. Morphogenic engine chamber maintenance schedule. To avoid patient injury, the morphogenic engine life pod requires a daily inspection of all vital systems. Vital system one, the enriched oxygenated pure perfluorocarbon from the life support fluid reservoir must be continually flushed and replaced through the corpse of the patient's treatment, or course, excuse me. Note that OP also supplies anesthetics. Any interruption in supply will cause sufficient pain to the patient to potentially disrupt the experiment. Vital system two, electric supply is supplemented and insured by the sublab generator. Proper fueling and maintenance of the sublab generator should be confirmed hourly. Vital system three, in the case of catastrophic loss of vital systems 1 and 2, the life pod failsafe will engage, maintaining localized minimum life support functions until technicians can arrive. Disabling failsafe will result in immediate patient termination. Where is the failsafe?
Oh, jeez. Where is it? Oh, no! Damn. Oh, come on. Yeah, Mike is for Five Nights at Freddy's. Warning, failsafe system off. Is that it? New objective. Get out. Where do I get out? Notes. Death of Hope. Blee is dead. The Wall Rider. The Swarm. Whatever it is. Unmade with him. Whether I escape or die here, I am free. Come on! Come on. Come on, you can make it. You can make it. You can do it. You can do it. This is going to be a long process if I keep having to stubble along like this. All those weird sounds. No! Oh no! So this isn't the end? Well, let's watch the credits and make sure that everyone who made this game gets their credit because they did an awesome job in this game. 10 out of 10! We'll play it again. And I would play the DLC a little bit later, and I would also be playing LS2 at some point.
I won't be able to play the Whistleblower DLC tonight, but I will do that next time. And, uh, I really need to get working on my taxes, because those are due tomorrow. <laughs> Voice talent. Miles Upshur. Chris Walker. That was our person we were playing. Chris Walker. I have been streaming for three and a half hours. I went overtime a little bit. So I do apologize, I won't be able to play it this time, but again, next time. I'm not sure if Chris Walker was the big guy, I have no idea. I forgot the char main character's name because it's been so long since I played that played this. <laughs> A lot of musicians. Oh, it's probably the orchestra for one thing. Thanks for the hosting, Claylex. But I'm sorry that it's actually towards the end of the stream. <laughs> this was pretty fun. Definitely a unique game. Oh, Miles Upshur. So that's the guy. My schedule currently will be Fridays, 4 p.m. to 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. But I otherwise have work Sunday through Tuesday, 6 p.m. to 6.45 a.m. Sorry, cleaning my screen in real quick. <laughs> Okay, I think we're getting towards the end if they're getting the public relations. Thwack. That's an interesting name for a company. Thwack! What, no, uh, no continuing music? Oh, okay, it's due Tuesday, not bad. Um, but I still want to be sure I get my taxes done and be through with it. Okay. Oh, this is a load screen that's taken a while. So, welcome to loading the game. Yeah. Still loading. Still going. Why do endgame load screens take forever? Thank you for following, BlueJSTFU. It's all good. Thanks for following. I'm kind of thinking I might need to kind of quit out of this if this takes any longer. Yeah, just pleasantly waiting. Tune back in in a moment. <laughs> Oh, damn. Well, I really wish it would finish doing what it did.
Yeah, there would be music if it was well coordinated, but I really hope this game didn't just mess up out of nowhere. Yeah. Well, I will let this game do what it needs to do. What we co let's contemplate what we saw here today. Sure, why not? What we saw was a very interesting asylum. Mount Massive Asylum. You are a place of many beliefs, many people, many creeds, many colors, and my god, you are crazy. So, thank you, Mount Massive Asylum, for allowing me to document what had happened, and allowing me to become the Wall Rider. So, I think what we had overall was a good... Excuse me, as I hit the microphone. What we had was a... Dang it, I did it again. We had a good time. <laughs> And I hope you did too. Thank you for watching. So, yes, I will be needing to end the stream here. I will hopefully get whatever Outlast is to tell me. To, I will hopefully get whatever Outlast is trying to give me. But for now, I want to thank you all for watching. And it's been a fun stream. And as always, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good night. See you guys next time. Love ya.